section 43, chapter 43 covered on the central nervous system and the spinal cord. Chapter 44 covers the peripheral nervous system and then chapter 45, the part of chapter 45 that will be after these lectures covers the traumatic brain injury, um, brain tumors and abscesses. So in your objectives for weeks 9 and 12 on the nervous system, this is the section that will cover, I'm looking on here on uh, probably starting at number 4. Focus neurological assessment and findings in a patient with peripheral nervous system disorders. And we're going to cover multiple sclerosis. I mean, we covered multiple sclerosis, sorry. And L. Gillian Barre, myasthenia gravis, peripheral nerve disorders or trauma. And that's the section that this chapter covers. This first half of lecture is going to cover the um, Gillian Barre and myasthenia gravis. Although I did one PowerPoint for the entire chapter, I broke the lecture in half. The second half of the lecture is going to cover the peripheral nerve disorders. Yeah. Okay. So I started this with information on the peripheral nervous system. Just think it would help you to review peripheral nervous system. You may want to come back to these pictures as you go over different things. I did this to help you in focusing, thinking of what we are looking at the, on the nervous system. This is a really good picture with the central nervous system and then the peripheral nervous system. And actually, the next slide too is even better on splitting out the two and telling you the central nervous system is the brain and spinal cord where Chapter 43 covers the spinal cord and chapter 45 will cover the brain and this particular chapter 44 covers the 12 cranial nerves, 31 pairs of spinal nerves. Okay. This is a functional organization of the peripheral nervous system, the sensory side and the motor side, which might help when we're going through this and notice that the motor side involves your somatic and autonomic nervous system where some of these disorders and medications will come into effect on this automatic autonomic nervous system for the sympathetic or adrenergic division and the parasympathetic or cholinergic division and those will distinguish your medications the sympathetic being adrenergic and the parasympathetic being cholinergic <coughs> One more picture, breaking them up. So when you talk about the symptoms and you talk about medications, you might want to come back to the parasympathetic rest and digest or the sympathetic fight or flight to help you understand. So we're going to go right in now into Gillian-Barre syndrome.